Did you know he didn't have a license before you pulled him over? Um, oh, I don't know what she's known. Didn't you pull him over? Did you know he had a license? Didn't have one? But what that got to do with me? She got you for a traffic stop. I'm just patting you down. No, I, I don't want car. you to catch me. Why you not? Because they, I wasn't driving. I didn't do nothing wrong. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by a YouTube channel by the name of Damien Elliott. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please make sure you go and do so. Today we're looking at a police department, which I'm not quite sure which department this is, but it's a short video and I just have a few things I want to say about it. The first thing I want to say is this. Remember, I've stated, some police know the law, many don't. But there are those who do know, and they do know case law, but they will use it and twist it in order to trick you out of giving up your rights. So it's very important that you know the law, that you know case law, so that when police use these different tactics in order to trick you into giving up your rights, you're able to correct them on the spot. We're going to take a look at this video, and in this video, this police officer uses Terry v. Ohio in order to trick a citizen out of his rights. We're going to see that the citizen didn't fully know the case law of Terry v. Ohio, this is why it's important to know so therefore you can rebuttal and correct and educate. Let's jump into this video really quickly and we're going to dive more in in a second. Why? Huh? Why? Because I'm allowed to just pat well, you down. I, I know, but you pulled him You're over. You're not under arrest. I know, I know. Hold on, hold on. I'm talking about my rights here. Uh -huh. You pulled him over. Why now? Because we know that he doesn't have a driver's license. You knew that? You already knew that before you pulled him over. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Did you know that? What? Did you know he didn't have a license before you pulled him over? Um, oh, I don't know what she's known. Didn't you pull him over? Did you know he had a license? Didn't have one? But what that got to do with me? She got you for a traffic stop. I'm just patting you down. Cause no, I'm I don't want car. you to catch me. Why you not? Because I wasn't driving. I didn't do nothing wrong. You didn't do nothing no, wrong? No, nothing at all. Okay, here. Sit on this for me. I mean, because I've been pulled over before and I knew that. And really quickly, one of the things that always annoyed me about policing is when a cop tells someone to sit down on the ground. That's one thing I never did as a police officer. It's the ultimate disrespect in my eyes. Citizens are human beings, adults. There is no law stating that you have to sit down on the ground because a cop said so. I mean, okay, here, sit down for me. Now, you know the regulation, the law, Terry versus Ohio? No, I, I'm you not. heard of that? No. Okay, it gives us officers the right, if we're investigating something, like a traffic citation or anything, that we can find out where people are in the car, and yeah. we're allowed to cut you down for our safety if we feel like we need to. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. Okay, I know a lot of you guys watching this video already know this information, but keep in mind, there's always somebody still learning. So for those people, let's go back through the basics so their rights are not violated by some tricky cop. Terry v. Ohio, the Supreme Court of the United States, ruled that it is not unconstitutional for American police to stop and frisk a person they reasonably suspect to be armed and involved in a crime. So here we see this cop using Terry v. Ohio to convince the passenger to allow him to pat him down. But what he's not telling the passenger is this. He does not reasonably suspect that the passenger is involved in committing a crime, nor does he suspect the passenger of having any weapons. So then why do you want to pat him down? You simply just want to violate his rights. Marilyn v. Wilson, the Supreme Court ruled that police officers have the right to order the passenger of a vehicle out of the car during a traffic stop. So yes, it's true. The police can order you out of your vehicle during a traffic stop, even if you're the passenger, but you do not have to ID and you do not have to allow them to pat you down. Marilyn v. Wilson only gives them the authority to have you step out. If they want to use Terry v. Ohio, they must suspect you of being involved in a crime and also being armed. I'm not searching. I'm just no, I just thought this is, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know nothing about that. I know that when you pull somebody over for a traffic stop, that's the reason why you pulled them over, right? Yeah. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I ain't, I ain't doing nothing wrong. I respect y'all. I mean, you know, y'all know me anyway. So I mean, like, it ain't like I'm 
some out of town or something. I've been here since 2005. You know? So, you know what I mean? And I ain't got nothing on me anyway. You know, I'm just trying to you know, get my rights going. And that's it, you know? The link to this video is down below in the description section. Yes, the video was short, but I still thought it was a good teaching tool for those who are just now starting the journey of learning their rights. Never let tricky cops trick you into giving up your rights. If they're going to use Terry v. Ohio, they must suspect that you are involved in the crime and you're also armed. Be sure to know your rights. You never want to tell a cop you had no clue of any case law or you didn't know about a certain law. You always want to know your rights and not be caught unprepared. Down below is a link to my free ebook or you can click the link above my head. Download it. It's going to help you to learn your rights. You can also register for my online video course titled Surviving the Police. It's going to teach you in detail what you can and can't do and what cops can and can't do when you encounter them. Know your rights. Don't be caught not knowing. With that being said, we the People University signing off.